one. This is Miss G crafting etc. today. We are going to work on uh, covering, making a, um, a pressing board for my Easy Press, which I just love. But I haven't really used to use it yet. I've made a couple of things on it, but I've used the kitchen table. But today, uh, we're going to make a pressing board. And I have to say, I didn't come up with this idea myself. Everybody's trying to find better ways to make a pressing board or pressing area for the Easy Press. I looked at quite a few videos as well as everybody else and tried to find out one was best suited for me uh, and to see what I actually would need in order to complete the process. So today that's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab a seat here and we're going to see what's what. Hopefully you guys can see my hands and my board and my materials. Okay. Uh, what I found out I would need would be a very hard surface. So what I did was no, I don't have a shed to go and get a piece of wood like some of the people were saying on some of the videos. I don't have a handyman around the house to go cut a piece for me. So what I did was I ordered one. I mean, I could have went to a resale place and got one, um, true enough, or I call it a thrift store. But I decided to just go and start anew to get my, my uh, easy press something new to work off of. I was able to find a hardwood cutting board. Uh, it measures uh, 23 by 16, which is just right for the area that I have it in on the end of my uh, workstation. And which will also is removable so I can take it down and if I need my workstation area for something else. But at this point, this is uh, where it's going to be, even uh, when it's not in use. So anyway, I looked at the products I would need. I have my cutting board, which is hardwood. There's no coating on it. This is why I know I chose the cutting board. There is a back side. This cutting board was used for pizzas. But on the back side, they have little grooves, I guess, where you're making, I don't know, something or awesome. I'm not using that side. It's got indentations. That's the bottom. So this is the top, the part that gives you different size crust sizes. So I hope you can see that. Uh, I say you'll need a pair of scissors. Uh, you'll need a handy stapler. Hammer just in case the stapler don't go all the way in, or I don't have enough power or torque in my hand to push down. Um, and believe it or not, I had to go and teach myself how to use this hand stapler because some people punch it. I don't have enough grip again uh, in my hand from uh, from a hard work as a retail shifting boxes and stuff, and my wrist is kind of weak. But I did watch some people who actually uh, were able to do it and then hit it, which is cool. So I'll try that. Uh, one of the girls on a YouTube video said that I didn't have to go and hunt down batting. That I could use a towel or any other soft thing as long as it's 100%. So this is a 100% cotton. And this towel is from my travels when I was uh, staying in different hotels. And this is from the Hilton. It's a little faded so I thought it would be just the right thing to recyclable into the bottom mat uh, for my pressing board. So I cut it off. To uh, fit around the board. Okay. Then I got some. Um, they call this ironing board cover. And one of the girls suggested one of you twos. And I'm sorry. I look at a lot of you twos. So I don't have names. But I, at least that you know. This is not my total idea. But they it was suggested in a couple of you twos. Not to get the one with the quilting. Which I know is a lot of you twos people were using. But I can understand why you wouldn't use. Because this is not an ironing board. This is a flat surface to be used for pressing uh, and pressuring on my iron on vi vinyl to my um, t-shirts or whatever uh, medium I want to use but it's just for that so flat search for that so anyway so I got the one without the without the uh, quilted area so it's a flat iron board material and I cut it off this almost the same maybe a little by it's a little off by a few centimeters on each 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 four corners but I cut it off just to the same measurement as well. Uh, what else? Um, what I'm going to do is you got to make sure that it's really cleaned off. You don't want any bumps up under your on your wood. So you're going to lay down. Watch out, Roscoe. You're going to lay this down, Roscoe. Pepper in here, Roscoe. Move out the way, Roscoe. They they always keep me company. They'll eventually be still. And I'm going to stand up to do this. And you, as usual, you only always see my hands. Um, and uh, you've been seeing my new uh, older videos, you know exactly how I look. But today I'm wearing my Christmas shirt. 
and I'm all set with this. This is going to hopefully be a short video. I have my heat press, which I'm going to use. I'm turning it on now. Only because once I get it done, like the, I'm putting a towel on first as my pad. And then I'm going to uh, get it on first. Staple it on. I'm turn this upside down like this. I'll put this out the way. And I'll make sure it's even on all sides. Yeah. And I'm an eye person. I've been sewing for years. So basically, I can just about look at something and tell you it's even on all sides. And, okay. And, let's see. This is cool. This is good. Look at this way. I mean, I could, I do have plenty of rulers. But I like my clear ruler, which I don't seem to see. There it is. So, my clear ruler lets me know. Because one of my YouTube videos, my girl said... Two inches. Well, it depends what type of material or how big your board is. Uh, this one's three. Three and a half. This is a lot right here. I'm not going to cut anything off. I cut the towel to fit. But I really didn't want to cut any extra off from that. So, oh, that's quite a bit though. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut. I might cut a little off. On this other end, and let me see. This is let's see. This is three inches. This is a little over three. Okay, I hear you. My easy press is saying it's ready. This is three. This is a little over three. So we're gonna move this over some right here because I'm not gonna cut that. Put this right here. Okay, that's three and a half. Oh, about three and a half. Okay. And that would be, this is three. And we're going to move this just a little bit. I'm going to pick it up and move it forward. So it'll be three and a half on each end. How is that? Yeah, three and a half. And three and a half. So I'm going to have to cut it off just a little. I'm folding it where I'm going to cut it. This is why I said you need a pair of scissors. Much as I didn't want to cut the towel anymore. I'm going to, which is cool. You get to see my break. Pair of scissors for the uh, my sewing machine. Okay, very carefully. Okay, and I'm cutting. And cutting. Again, I watched a lot of YouTubes in order to do this. It's been while I've had my board now for a couple of weeks, maybe a little longer. And I want to make sure I had everything to work with. Then I got the material, the ironing board material. Okay, so that should be cool. Now, all right. So now I got this and this and this. Now, what they said on them, put this away over here. What it says, you have, you have to pull, get this off of here. You have to pull taunt, each area taunt, like that, and taunt. So that's how we're going to do it. Again, this is the first time I've used my hand stapler. And it's the first time I use my hand stapler. So we're gonna I'm gonna learn this together. So please forgive me. Because I gotta also I'm saying I'm making sure I'm missing these indentations right here. Okay, we're gonna pull this tight, tight as I can, and we're going to put it here midway. I got to pull it tight here. Okay. Because you don't want any. You got to make sure it's tight. Now I'm doing it kind of high. Because I'm going to make sure. I may have to cut a little off. Which is okay. But I also want to make sure my stapler. Was in. Oh. Cool. I brought my hammer. Just in case. If I couldn't get enough torque in my hand. To push it all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to pull this torn here. Not too much because it's got to be tight because I'm going to pull it torn the other end too. Same thing, a little high but not at the threshold of that. Okay. Cool. 
I have to tell you that my well, that's a little it's not in like I want to. The good thing about the hammer, there you go. Oh, this one's in, but yeah. Well, there you go. That one's in. That first one went right in there without a problem. So then I'm gonna pull this tight like this as well. And I'm gonna put it here like this, not too close to the thresh. So again, remember it's, it's an indentation there. Okay, cool. All right, now that I got that, I'm gonna go around. And everybody had a pro had own ways of doing these corners. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way to the corner. I'm gonna pull tight, just like everything else. Pull tight. And not too close to the thread hole, but try to keep it lined up. Again, it's a threshold there. I'll put this, and I don't want to put them too far, but not too close together. Because when I do the iron on ironing board pad, I want to make sure that I have space for their staples as well. Okay. Okay. And now we'll do this side. Let's see. Again, about the same. I think it's right in there. Tight. Tight, Miss G. Put it here. Let's pull it tight. We don't want it. No bubbles in the in the middle of the other side. And I don't want this to be buckled up on this side either. Okay. Pull this tight. Let's come here, pull this tight again, right the threshold, and not too far away. That's the there. I'm using my fingers to actually feel where that indentation is because I don't want it to be loose, I want it to be away from there. Again, I don't want, I want it to be tight enough. this end again we want to pull it tight mm -hmm. again I already see that if it's too much by the time you put your ironing board fabric on you can always cut away some but we're gonna wait until we get to that point this side okay I'm pulling that yep. not too close to there good Now, these are the corners we talked about. Now, my corners on my board are round, around it. So, what I'm thinking about is that I'm going to put this here and here like this. But I think I want to cut away some of this. But I'm going to staple it first because I don't want... Any problems? Like she's, I'm told in Dr. Bills, you, you, you decide how you want to do your corners. Me, personally, I'm thinking, don't want it to be too bulky. So I'm going I'm to do the triangle corner here. And we're going to see how that comes out. I'm going to start. There is no. Yeah, that's not right there. So I'm going to start right here in the corner. Like this. And it's tight. And I'm going to. That in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this down here tight. Like this. It's not in there. So now I already know I can't do that. Because the staples are not long enough. So what I'm gonna do is I don't want to have problems when I get ready to do this. So I am going to do this. I'm gonna pull it here, pull it here. And staple it here. Okay. And then I'm going to cut away. Again, you don't have to do this. Um, you do your corners the way you want to do your corners. I just don't want bulky corners. So I'm cutting away some stuff. It's like a little square or a rectangle. And hopefully I can do it the same thing on the other side. Because what it seems like 
is that if I don't do this, I won't be able to make this tight like I want to. So now, yeah, it's cool. And then now, okay, that's good. Okay, now let's see. We do this corner the same way. We're gonna bring it tight, tight, tight. Here, yeah, like that. And then we're gonna cut away just a little bit, enough for us to. Let's see. Can you? Hopefully, you can see me do this. I'm cutting away just a triangle part, a rectangle part, really, so I can fold under. So it won't be so bulky. Because remember, we got to put the ironing board material on here. So now. I can turn it like this, and now I can still pull it like that. But make sure you don't staple on top of a stapler. Okay, that's my ether press saying it's getting ready to go off. I've had it on too long, which is okay because it doesn't heat up. It doesn't take long to heat up. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty, so I don't know if that in the mouse adaptation there. Okay, I think I need to, yeah. I just need to put one more in here. Nope. nope. Make it tight. Gotta make it tight. Okay. I don't know what that is coming out of there. Must be something inside the staple gun. It's a new staple gun, so I shouldn't have. Okay, that looks pretty tight. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, now we're here. And I'm going to pull this a little tight here because I think I want any bubbles there. Okay, I'm going to pull it tight here. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to pull it tight here. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my triangle the way I want it off of here. Again, I don't want it to buckle up. So I'm going to cut it here and here. And again, it's just a little triangle. They seem to be about the same size. Yeah. They all do seem about to be the same size. Okay. And then we'll put it here. And put it here. Mm -mm, I gotta turn it just a little bit so I can get that corner just right. Okay. And now, it did go in there, didn't it? Use a hammer. Remember, I said you might have one that just won't go where you want it to go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right in there. We all good. Get that down in there. Everybody's down in there. Down in there. Then there. That one's in there. Yeah, he's in there. Okay, everybody seems to be in there. Those are the same size. All right, I have one more corner to do. And I don't know if you can see this corner here. Slide it over here. One more corner. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut a triangle the same way as I did the other. Just have to watch how deep I cut it. And they're, like I said, they're about the same size when I cut them out. Then I'm going to pull it tight. And then I'm going to give it a good swack here. Then I'm going to pull this look right here. Get my corner tight. Yep, like that. 
because you want your corner tight too. I just didn't want a lot of material in there. Okay. And then you want to, nope, I want it tight. So you want to put it about right here. And then you can put some right here. Okay. And always make sure you got plenty of staples. I'm getting a good whack. Get a good whack in there. It's in there. Okay, so let's turn it on and see what we're looking at. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, that's, woo, that's plush. Let me turn this back on. Turn my easy press back on. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Got all the corners tight, tight. Look at the back. It's tight. Again, this is just the mat now. Okay. Oh, that feels nice. And it's still, like I say, you just know I want a flat surface, but you want to have some kind of pad between the wood and your uh, and your uh, heat resistant material, which is my ironing board material, which is cool. All right, so right now, again, uh, it does take long but easy to press the heat up. We just now we're just going to use it. Much as I hate that term, iron. I'm just going to press out the crease that is in the towel. Got a glitter. I'm sorry, I'm making. Been working on glasses for the holiday. So I make sure there's no glitter. Glitter is everywhere. If you know if you're working with glitter, you know how sometimes you think you got rid of it. But it is still here. Again, I'm taking all the moisture out of this as well. I don't know what that is. Towel stuff. I'm taking the moisture out as well. I'm, I don't have it on a timer. Right now I'm just using it to take the moisture out. And then I can uh, continue. Ah, oh, this looks beautiful. Okay, I got rid. Of, I think I got rid of the creases. That's what I was trying to get rid of the crease as well. Beautiful. I was able to find a nice little um, desk area for my easy press. It's a little little stand where it slides up under my workstation. So I unplug it. I I can just uh, slide it under there, and I have a little pocket I created uh, to put the cord in, so it just rolls down and sticks in there. That way, I don't have to worry about the cord. Then I roll it up when I'm done, and slide it back up under my table which is really cool anyway because my oh they can so this thing's warm enough so much for the chit chat okay now here is our pad so i'm gonna take this put it on my stool right here right quickly watch out pepper there you go. then i'm gonna take this and i don't think i'm gonna have to cut anything away but we're gonna see and i'll put this here I'm gonna just where's my ruler? Cause I might just measure right now. I'm gonna measure right now, so I don't have to do a lot of moving. Three and a half. That's cool. Right here, three and a half. That's good right there. Now let's see what we got here. Here. Oh, here. I'll be good. That's good. All right. Now let's see what we got here. And the ruler. Right where that crease is, it's three and a half. So let's see, see what we got. Okay. Take this. Put it right here. Right there. Right there. That. And that. Let's see. Just a little bit there. Okay, let's see what we got. Cool. Three and a half. Right on the money. Now these, this side is a little long, but I did cut it. I wasn't sure because I wanted to overlap the uh, tile. I didn't really want the tile to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how that works out. Again, I'm not folding any ends. All the ends are what you see. This end is the raw edge with the, the white liner, which is the ending and the beginning of the material here. And this is where I cut it. It's coming over here. And then this is again here and then this is here yeah so this is where the short part is with the towel here oh not so much here so I probably can pull that to see here just a little bit so I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna pick it up by the whole thing here I'm slide a little bit this way and then I'm gonna pick this up here 
uh, that's a little bit better. Just a little bit more on one end. So let's just slide it back that way. Like that. Cool. Cool. So just, it's the right inches. It's just I got more tile probably when I cut it off here. So what I'm going to do is take my trusty scissors right here. Cut here. And cut a little bit off. It's not going to hurt. Because I can still pull it and make it taunt like I want it. I was trying not to have too much of the tile sticking out if I can help it. But I didn't want to cut anywhere. That's why I moved my they have my staples up. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's very good. Okay. And that's good. And that's good. Yeah, that's good. That works. That works. That works. Okay. That works. Okay. That works. That works. Okay. That works. Okay. okay. Now. We are going to, again, we're going to pull tight on one end, the other end, side ends real tight, and then go for the, the other part. Alrighty, I'm going to put some more, uh, hopefully, uh, I think I got some more left on the table. Oh, excuse me, poo -poo. Well, I'm just getting the staples, Mr. Okay, now, I got those. Let me load my gun again. Down, out. Not like running out of the middle of something, a project. So put those in there. Put that in there. Okay. Pull down. Pull down. It's all right. I'm still learning how to do this one. It should be able to put them on. Okay. I'm not going then maybe it's not as out as far as out as I thought it was. Okay, let's put this in there. And this goes down in there. This goes there and down. There you go. We're in. Yeah, just the neatest. It wasn't as far out as I thought it was. Okay, we are going to start from the center this end like this. Pull it tight. You want it tight. And I'm putting it closer to the, not edge, but where I want to start right in front of the towel where I put on there. And I see, I can tell you, because I don't still don't have enough torque, I am going to have to hit my end a little bit. Only because I don't have enough torque in my in my wrist. I can't get a push down as far as I, after a while. But anyway, bear with me on that point, okay? Cool. Now, same thing here. Pull tight. And oh, pull tight. Cool. And I'm going to give it a little hammer. There you go. All right, we're on the other end now. Pull tight. And yeah, we're going to be all right on this end. I just make sure I have, yeah, we're going to be tight. So we're going to pull tight here, pull here, and down. I am pressing hard, but I can see when I haven't quite got it all in there. And then I'm going to pull this and raise up just a little bit. Just raising up a little bit so I can get a little more pull on the material. And, yeah. and then I'll we'll come here. Ah, see? I can look at it and see. Again, if you got a guy around to do this for you, cool. But right now, uh, it's just me. And Roscoe is on it. Mel in his house, my pug pug. He said, Mama, I got no thumbs. He's got no thumbs. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm going to go right here and pull tight on this end here. I'm going to raise up, pull tight, and here. Cool, that's in. Give it a tap. And then go on this end, pull tight. And I am stapling it to the towel. I am not stapling directly to the wood. I'm stapling it to the towel, which is why, why I have to get a good tap. This one's in pretty good. Because I want the towel to stay where the towel is the backing or the batting to stay where it's supposed to be. And I don't want anything moving later on. And some, some of the YouTube videos I watch say if you want to take it off, I have no intention of taking this off. Because, you know, it's, it's a pressing board. It's for my 
Easy press. It's not for anything else. I'm not using it to iron any weird stuff like clothing. It's not an iron. It just irks me when people think, keep conferring to my easy press as an iron because it's away from that. Okay, I'm trying to make this tight. So I'm on the other end here. And again, I am staking it through the towel and through the ironing pad. Oh, that's good. That went in there really good. Must have got really a little anger in there when I'm talking about how people misinterpret my easy press as an iron and it's not an iron. It's just what it is, easy press. I have no torque in that one. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're on the other end here. Again, I am pulling it tight still. Because you want your pad to be tight. Okay, I know he's still on. Okay, right, I'm going to start right here, and here, right here, here, and then pull here, and then pull here, okay, that's down, that one's, that ends up, that's up, this ends up, that ends up, that's down. Okay, now I'm going to come on this end here, and I'm pulling. Uh, make sure you don't tear through your staplers. That's why I'm putting it through the towel, so I don't, so I still have something to anchor in it to. Okay, put through here. Okay, and get us a tap. Tap, tap, we good. Okay, now we're on this end. I'm going to pick it up a little bit so I can pull it. Okay. Oh, my hand got a little reek on that one. Okay. And then I'm going to pull again on this. Like this. On this side over here again like I said I'm pulling it tight <clears throat> put it through the towel as well too close to that yep yep pull it tight okay cool Okay, sorry. Sorry, I took so long. Oh, yeah. Just had to answer the door right quick. All right, so we got that. So now we're to the corners. And we're going to try to do the corners without taking anything out. Only because I want it to look nice and tight. And the staples don't go all the way in through this. We'll put it, I'll bring it tight. Then I'm putting it right here in the corner. Right there, and it's in, and then I'm gonna put go up closer on this end, and a little slant. It's in, I believe it's in. Nope, it's not in, but we're gonna give it a little whack. Nice, in. then we're gonna go this corner like this because I want it tight, and we're gonna give it a whack. Nope, like this, like that. Yep, there you go. It's in. Now we're going to staple it. I'm gonna staple it again because I want to staple. I want to stay right in this area. 
So I'm going to staple it here like this. Bring it down a little bit. It's still going through the towel. Here, like this. There you go. Cool. Everything's cool. Now, same thing with this corner. I'm going to pull, make it tight. Again, I'm pulling the areas tight. So the corners will be tight. And the areas will be tight. And I'm going to put it right down the center here. Then I'm going to give it a good whack for security. There you go. Oh, that's tight. Cool. Then I'm going to put them up here. In this case, I'm going to put these lower. Cool. Give it a good whack. There you go. Pull this on this end. And give it, oh, come on. It's right here. There you go. Oh, I don't think I got to get out of whack. I'm going to get away for good measures. All righty. Oh, that, that. Now I'm going to put it right here. It's, again, we're going right through the towel. Pull. And good whack. All righty. So now we're on the other end. And we're going to go here. You see this end? This end? Right here, we're going to pull these ends. We're pulling them tight. 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 There you go. Okay. Tight. I want everything tight. Tight. Right there. And right here. Right there. And then I'm going to give it a good whack. Okay. And then I'm going to get the corners right here and right here. Come on, yeah, right there. And I'm going to give it a... Yeah, we're in. We're in, yeah. Okay, and I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to put, a, put one up here where I have the rest of them. I'll see what I got to do have here. Here, yep, yeah, here, and give it a whack, give it a whack, okay, we're in, okie dokie, we're all tight, got one more corner to do, this one right here, and I'm going to take it and pull it tight, because again, we're pulling it tight, and then I'm giving it a good and I'm giving a whack for good measures okay that one didn't want to go in let's see yep there you go I learned it from one of the last videos I watched you say if you don't go all the way in just give it a whack with your stapler but I already know the stapler ain't going to be heavy enough okay now we're going to go here Okay, and there, cool. Now we're going to go each side like I did the other ones here, and here, oh yes, okay, good whack there, good whack there, oh we all good now, all right, just for me, because just a little, I'm not going to say, I just, it's not it's not perfect, but I just want to make sure that I get these little loose ends here off. And I'm not going to staple them down. This one, maybe. Okay, here. off the corners okay take it off the corner oh, excuse me for a minute I don't know about you that works up a sweat okay all right now 
we are all done. I think that's a little too much material right there for me. So I'm going to cut this away just a little bit. There you go. That's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's fine. All right. We are all good. We got this done. The corners are tight. And, oh, look at that. Now, that is beautiful. Okay. My easy press went off and turned it back on. It don't take long to heat up. Now, what are we going to do now? We're going to give it a good pressing. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get my a piece of towel here. I'm just trying to get, I, like I say, I'm fighting, uh, I'm fighting, uh, what you call it, uh, glitter. But, uh, it won't hurt the easy press, but I want my pressing board. I'll probably make a cover for it, just so glitter and stuff like won't get on when I get ready to use it. Not really sure, I can just put it inside of a sheet, a uh, pillowcase. Okay, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to run my heat iron over it. Again, I'm taking out the creases. Any moisture that might be in the material shouldn't be. But again, all this moisture from being laid up like in the uh, stores is cool. And uh, what I'm doing now is just taking out the moisture. I keep my heat press uh, covered up. I don't want anything on it. I love this thing. Uh, again, I plan to use it more. I got mine for HSN, say 20 bucks. But I also got the insurance on it in case I have any problems. Uh, because Cricut does stand behind their products, so I had no problem doing that because I usually don't get um, warranties or anything on a lot of stuff. HSN, you just send it back. But in this case, I've been waiting for this Cricut. It just didn't have it, and I just love it. Okay, put this back in this cradle. And see, a lot of people still fight with their wire. I don't. Mine is just where my cord is, and I just sit it right there. Now, isn't this a beauty? Again, it was. This is just a, a board I got from Home Depot. Uh, for I think I paid twenty bucks for it, shipping. With shipping, probably twenty six. But it was worth it. It's just right. It fits the area I wanted because I married to measure the area. This cutting board is uh, sixteen by twenty three. I use the towel, as in one of the couple of other videos. The lady said you can use the towel. The area is fully flat. It's tight. Uh, I I was told after one of the videos said you can use any material, but I prefer the, the ironing board material because it, it reflects heat really well. But I said it, it keeps the heat from going through anything else, but only until the item that you're, you're ironing. So again, this is another project from Miss G Crafting Etc. You can look for many more. As soon as I can come, if you won't have anything you'd like to see me do, please hit like to this video. And subscribe and I'll read whatever you say please leave comments not just thumbs up but leave comments so I know how I'm doing or what I should be doing because again I'm still learning I have like maybe 12 videos out there that are not perfect but I would like them to be and I got a few more ideas about uh, things I like to show but I would like to be where you don't cut me off I know I'm a talker but again I'm a senior and I'm gonna talk because I, I, I've been in retail for years so I'm gonna talk anyway but anyway thank you very much for watching Miss G's Crack and Setcher. Have a good day. Goodbye.